Hello everybody, Jerry Parker with Music Master here and a short video on how to configure and uh, get ready to use Music Master, Nexus, and Nextcast in a fully integrated environment. Nextcast is one of our enhanced integration partners, which means they utilize Nexus to offer real-time schedule ingestion from Music Master into Nexus and um, real-time schedule reconciliation from Nextcast back into Music Master and real-time metadata exchanges between both systems, which simply put means they keep their libraries in sync. When you're considering using Nextcast and Music Master in a fully integrated environment, the first thing you want to do is decide which system is going to be the master librarian. In this instance, master librarian means where is the, uh, the data going to be entered for the first time for new songs. Are you going to enter new stuff into Music Master and have it flow into Nextcast? Are you going to enter st new stuff into Nextcast and have it flow into Music Master? Or are you planning on having new data entered in both locations? The uh, first choice is the recommended choice. We want you to, uh, we recommend rather that you enter new metadata into Music Master and have it flow into Nextcast. Um, but the alternative of entering new data into Nextcast and having it flow into Music Master is acceptable as well. Why do we recommend, recommend the first? Because Music Master has a much larger set of data associated with any given asset. In Music Master, you have all kinds of things you store about a song. You have artist and title and runtime and tempo and just a ton of different things that you can use. Things like artist keywords and title keywords and things like that. That doesn't all exist in Nextcast. In Nextcast, it's a very limited data set. For example, maybe only artist, title, and runtime. If you enter your new data in Music Master and it flows into Nextcast, all the appropriate fields in Nextcast are populated from Music Master. The inverse, if you start in Nextcast and you can only enter artist, title, and runtime, for example, it will flow into Music Master, but then at some later point, you're going to have to go into Music Master and enter the other data that's missing. Effectively, that means you have to enter it twice. Now, as far as entering data in both locations, that is absolutely not recommended. It's problematic, can lead to system instability, and can lead to confusion as the systems are unable in some cases to determine who has the most appropriate set of data. So we always recommend that you pick a system to be your master librarian and we certainly recommend it that that master librarian is the music master system okay let's talk about configuration there are four steps to setting up your integration um, the first is to configure music master then to configure nexus and then to configure nextcast and finally to test the system and make sure it works We'll talk about that, each of those in turn, starting with configuring Music Master. Here on our screen, we see a current Music Master install. This is sort of a fresh install of Music Master I built just for the purposes of this demo. There are two steps you need to take in Music Master to get it ready to talk to Nexus and eventually Nextcast. Um, the first thing you want to do is create a field in your database to ho hold the Nextcast ID. In Music Master, every song, every asset is identified by a song ID. The same thing is true in Music Master, but they're all identified by a different ID in that system. That ID takes the form of a fully qualified path name to the audio file that it's playing. For example, it might be C colon backslash my songs backslash some song dot wave. We need a way to know that we're in Music Master and we're talking about song ID 1234, that that is the Beatles song Let It Be, and in Nextcast, its ID is C colon backslash, backslash my music slash Beatles Let It Be dot WAV or something similar to that. So that's why we need to create an ID field to hold that Nextcast ID. To do so, we go dataset, 
library fields. And that brings up the field editor and a list of all the fields you have defined in your Music Master database. If you haven't already configured it for a Nextcast ID, we can do so now by scrolling to the bottom and clicking Add Field. I've already configured it, so I'm not going to click Add Field, but you'll note that I've created a field called Nextcast ID, given it an abbreviation NKID, and that it is of type text and of length 255. The takeaway here is that it has to be text and it has to be 255. You can name it anything you want and you can abbreviate it anything you want, but I strongly recommend it you name it something easily recognizable, such as Nextcast ID and NKID. That way, six months from now when you look at it, you know exactly what it is without having to think about it. The other important thing you need to note is what field ID it's given at the end of this process. After you click save on uh, add field, you'll get the next number in sequence. So in this case, it's 127. If I was to add a new field here, it'd be 128 or 129. Um, it's important that you note what is the number of the field. You're going to use that at a later step in configuring. So nextcast ID, NKID, text 255, field ID 127. That's what we want to remember. The second thing you need to configure is an appropriate export definition. To do that, you go data set, schedule, export, export to automation. Now I'm going to pause for just a minute and remind you that you have an assigned MSC here at Music Master and part of their role when you decide to do this uh, integration is to help you. They will help and send you or help you create an appropriate definition file, give it an appropriate name, help you create the field that you need for the next cast ID. They're going to help you through all these processes. So I'm going through the steps here, but I want you to remember you don't have to face this alone. We'll be there for you every step of the way. To set it up and configure it, you'll note that there's a list of export designs here in this box. One of them is associated with Nextcast. In this case, it's the only one I have, new Nextcast. To enable it, you just simply click check and OK. Once you've done that and you've created a Nextcast ID field, you're done with Music Master. It's ready for Nexus, Nexus and it's ready for Nextcast as well. So those are the two steps to configure Music Master. Uh, uh, ensure you've got a field for the Nextcast ID and ensure that you've got an export design that is suitable for Nextcast. Once again, your MSC is going to help you do that. In the next step, we'll talk about configuring Nexus. Okay, configuring Nexus is, is all done by editing this mmserver.ini file. Now, once again, remember, your MSC is going to help you do this, so you don't have to know all these details. You just have to know that it needs to be done. Um, there are several, seven um, required directives in the MM Server INI file to successfully talk to Nexus. They are port ID, server address, server station, data, cut ID, and log design. I'm going to go through each of them here. Starting with port. In this case, we've set our port to 8082. You can think of the port as the address that Nexus is listening on and that Nextcast will use to reach Nexus. This can be any number, but it's typically 8000, 8080, or 8082. Your mileage will vary and your MSC will help you determine what the appropriate port is. In my case, it's 808T. Yours will be similar, most likely. We have an ID that's required. In this case, it's Fusion. And it relates to what it's known as right here when you see Music Master's Nexus running. I have Nexus running right here so you can see it. Um, this setting is used here. It's also used by Nextcast to match the station in Nextcast. System generic is required. That's a technical setting. It tells us what kind of technology we're going to use to talk to Nexus. The server address is the address of the machine Nextcast is running on. It is running on this very machine, so I can use the term localhost to identify this machine. Yours might be different. It might be an IP address. It might be a name of a server out there somewhere. It might be localhost, but your MSC will help you with that. 
Server station is how it's named in Nextcast. We'll see that here in our next step of configuration. The path to your data file is served by data equals. Um, in this case, that's a fully qualified path to your Music Master data file. Um, the next thing is cut ID. And if you'll recall, when we added the next cast ID field, it was number 127. That's the number we want to make sure is here. And finally, the log design is the name of the, uh, uh, the schedule export file that we set up for you. And we saw in our earlier demonstration where we looked at it, there it was called new next cast. Here it's named Nexus or NK. It can be named anything. Um, your, your MSC will help you get it named, but the name here should match the name that you saw in Music Master when we configured it there. There are other directives that are optional, um, such as these. We're not going to talk about them here. We'll talk about them in a later video when we actually talk about and demonstrate how to get data to flow back and forth and what that looks like. But once you have your uh, MM server INI file configured, you're good to go. All you need to do is start Music Master's Nexus server. And if you get no errors, you're done. It's tested and it's running. It should look like this. You shouldn't get an error dialog or you shouldn't have an error displayed here or here. If you have an error displayed, you want to get together with your MSC and get that resolved. Uh, before you try to work with Nextcast because Nexus isn't currently running. As long as it looks like this, though, you're in good shape and you're prepared to move on to the next step, which is to configure Nexus, I mean Nextcast. Okay, here we have a fresh installation of Nextcast running, and we'll walk through the things we want to configure to get uh, Music Master and Nexus and Nextcast all talking to each other. The very first thing you want to do is to name your station in Nextcast. And in fact, you want to name it the same thing we named it here, Fusion. To do so, there's a little space here underneath the Nextcast logo. If you double click there, a dialog will pop up and allow you to enter or edit your station name. Here I'm going to name it Fusion to match um, what I set in Nexus. Okay? So I said okay there, and you'll see it's set now to be Fusion. The next thing we want to do is finish configuring Music Master, Nexus, and Nextcast talk to each other. So we do that with the settings uh, button here. Click that. Uh, this box will appear, this dialog will appear, and you'll see down here in the bottom right a little button called ADV for Advanced. We're going to go ahead and click that, and that'll bring up this dialog, which controls the integration with Nexus. And that's done down here at the very bottom of the screen. There's a checkbox right here that says uh, Music Master Nex Nexus Integration. Checked means you're integrated. Unchecked means you're not integrated. So we're going to go ahead and make sure that button is checked or that uh, checkbox is checked. And then we're going to start configuring. The next thing we want to do is set the Nexus IP and port. That should match what we set Nexus up to be. It always starts with HTTP colon colon. So you always put that in there. And then the next thing you're going to put in is the IP address of the machine where the Nexus server is running. In some cases, that might be localhost. In other cases, it might be an IP address, 192.168.1.200, for example. In other cases, it might be the name of a machine, a Win 10 desktop or my server or something like that. Your particular installation will dictate what that looks like. Your MSC will help you get that configured appropriately. In this particular instance, this Nextcast instance is running on a remote desktop on another machine, and Nexus is running on this machine, so I have to specify either the name or the IP address of this machine. So I've chosen the IP address, 192.168.1.200. We also have to specify the port, and that's done by specifying the IP address, colon, port. And the port must match what you have here and what you set in the mmserver.ini file. For the purposes of this um, demonstration, remember, it's 8082. So the fully qualified setup is HTTP colon slash slash 192.168.1200 colon 8082 to reference this instance of Nexus. Okay?
You can tell it's working by simply clicking in this Nexus server name box. If you click in it, it will fetch from Nexus on this dropdown all of the station names you have configured in Nexus. And some of you may have three or four or five stations configured in here. Some may only have one. In this instance, we only have one. It's called Fusion. It fetched it from Nexus and displayed it here as Fusion. All we need to do is check it, click it, and it will set Nextcast to talk to Nexus Fusion, which talks to Music Master Fusion's database, okay? That's the test. If you do that, you're talking from Nextcast to Nexus and everything's working fine. The next thing you need to configure is how does Nextcast, I'm sorry, Nexus send messages to Nextcast. Just as Nexus has a port it listens on, Nextcast has a port it listens on and you set that here in this box. It's typically whatever your Music Master Nexus port is, 8082, plus two. So 8082 plus 2 is 8084. To set that, you double click on the box and the dialog pops up and lets you type it in. So again, 8082 plus 2, 8084. Go ahead and click OK and you've got it set. Now the final overall test, which is your ping test. This tests the communication channel from Music Master, I'm sorry, from Nexus to Nextcast and from Nextcast back to Music Master with up uh, to Nexus with a single click. And you should get a success message. If I click it, you can see Nexus API is reachable and the connection is good. If you get an error here, it's not working. Um, but if you get connection good, you're all done. Music Master, Nexus, and Nextcast are fully configured and ready to send data back and forth between each other. So that concludes today's video on configuring Nextcast and Nexus Music Master um, to talk to each other in a fully integrated fashion. I hope you found this useful and informative, and I thank you for taking the time to watch this video.